Welcome to Hollywood Whispers. In Hollywood legends, there are not many names that reverberate as deeply as Ice-T. From his momentous music profession to his notorious exhibitions, in movies and TV Ice-T has established his place as a social symbol yet past the stage and shouts. What genuinely separates Ice-T is his unmatched way of life, a way of life characterized by extravagance, luxury, and the quest for better things in life displayed in each side of Ice-T's houses and unbelievable vehicle assortment. Yet what truly separate Ice-T aren't simply his material resources, but additionally his outlook, hardworking attitude, and vigorous endeavors to seek after his fantasies. In spite of all chances, every one of the subtleties you want is clearly in this video. We should make a plunge now. The prestigious American rapper and entertainer, stands tall in media outlets with a total assets of $68 million as of April 2024. Tracy Mio, as he is additionally known, started his melodic odyssey during his secondary school days, where he found comfort and enthusiasm in performing with a band of schoolmates. The positive experience pushed him to seek after a vocation in music, making way for his celebrated excursion following a four-year spell in the U.S. Armed Forces. Ice-T dug straight into his rap vocation, his ability grabbed the eye of Sire Records in the last part of the ADS, denoting the origin of his ascent to unmistakable quality. His introduction collection caused disturbances, turning into the principal hip jump record to require a substance caution sticker because of its unequivocal substance, pushing him into the public spotlight, resolute by limits. Differentiated his portfolio by helping to establish the weighty metal band body count while proceeding to cause disturbances in the rap scene anyway. His desires didn't end there. In the mid-90s, he wandered into the domain of acting, cutting a specialty for himself in Hollywood close by, delivering notable hip-jump collections like Influence the Chunk of Ice, the right to speak freely of discourse, Watch What You Say, and OG Ginning. This early openness to segregation, combined with the deficiency of his mom to a coronary failure when he was in 3RD grade, molded trust perspective raised by his dad Solomon, a diligent transport repairman. Tri's early life was set apart by both battle and strength. The burglary of his valued Christmas bike and the detached reaction from his dad filled in as early examples of genius. Regardless of the difficulties, Tracy found comfort in music, especially weighty metal, impacted by his cousin Duke, with whom he shared a room following his dad's inconvenient demise. Tracy wound up pushing into another climate, moving to view Park Windsor Slopes, a dominatingly dark area in South Los Angeles to reside with family members. It was here that Tris' interest in weighty metal music bloomed, started by his cousin Lord's annuity for rock radio broadcasts and changing to life in the Ka Locale of Los Angeles. Tracy explored the intricacies of pre-adulthood in the midst of the scenery of pack culture. Regardless of the charm of road life, Tracy stayed ardent in his purpose to swear off medications and liquor, separating himself from a considerable number of his friends in secondary school. Trey's energy for music prospered, culminating in his association with the not very many a band subsidiary with the theater bunch at Crenshaw Secondary School. This early introduction to music laid the preparation for his future undertakings in the business anyway. Life took a turn when Tracy became a dad and battled to get by, Looking for steadiness, he pursued the urgent choice to enroll in the U.S. Armed Force in October 1970. 7. Yet his tactical profession was defaced by an episode of carelessness, prompting a concise time of non-attendance without leave a wall. In spite of these difficulties, trust flexibility stayed faithful his encounters in the military, however. R. Wilde imparted in him a feeling of discipline and assurance that would later characterize his profession while serving in the military positioned at Schofield Garrison Huts in Hawaii Marrow's energy for hip jump, music started to flourish motivated by the Sugar Slow Pause's fundamental track rappers. Pleasure, Mio tried different things with his own rap sections, notwithstanding finding the music in conflict with his literary content and conveyance. During his time in Hawaii, Maro's experiences took a vital turn when he met a pimp named Mac, captivated by Maro's knowledge of Aishid. Thin's works, Mac volunteered to guide Mio in the craft of pimping. It was additionally during this time that Mio, making the most of his status as a single parent, got a get go fair release from the military that was not set in stone to manufacture. Another way away from group life and viciousness, Mio embraced the stage name Ice T as recognition for icy mass. Thin, at first seeking to become well known as a DJ Maro, wound up being drawn more towards rapping, earning consideration for his abilities at parties anyway. 
Life's intricacies drove Mio back into an existence of wrongdoing momentarily, as he depended on gem store thefts with his secondary school companions. After a separation with his sweetheart, Caitlin Boyd, in 1982, Morrow's fortunes moved when he encountered maker Willie Solid from Saturn Records. The next year, Solid recorded Morrow's most memorable single virus wind. Frenzy, otherwise called the coldest rap, acquired underground prominence, notwithstanding restricted radio airplay, because of its unequivocal verses, made this achievement ready for additional deliveries, incorporating Body Rock in 1983 and his component on DJ, Chris the Glove. Taylor's Crazy in 1984 catapulted Ice-T into the thriving hip-hop scene. Ice-T's advancement accompanied his arrangement with Sire Records, where Mark Pioneer Seymour Stein compared his ability to that of Sway Dillon in 1987. Ice-T delivered his presentation collection. Rhyme is upheld by DJ Fiendish, DJ Aladdin, and Maker Africa Islam, who achieved gold confirmation and laid out him as an awe-inspiring phenomenon in the rap world. This achievement was followed by the arrival of Influence in 1988, which further set his standing and procured his basic in 1991. He delivered the pivotal collection. OG Unique Hoodlum, a foundation of gangster rap that exhibited his flexibility as a craftsman. Quite the collection highlighted body rely on the track of a similar name stamping Ice T's combination of rap, and Weighty Metalite's cooperation with Body Count carried him to the front line of elective. Music as proof by his support in the debut. La La La, La show visit in 1991. This openness extended his fan base, as well as charmed him to middle-class teens and devotees of elective music, solidifying his status as a social symbol anyway. Debate ensued before a long, overwhelmed body count, especially over the track Cop Executioner. The tune, which portrayed the point of view of a crook looking for vengeance on fierce and bigoted cops, ignited shock from government authorities. The public rifle affiliation, and police promotion bunches in the midst of mounting pressure time Warner music wouldn't deliver IC's impending collection. Home Attack refers to the discussion encompassing cop executioner, quote, spec courageous by the kickback Ice T, headed out in different directions from Sir Warner Sibling's records and resuscitated his Mark Rhyme. Organization getting a circulation managed need records for home intrusion delivered in the spring of 1993. The collection made business progress cresting at number 9 on Announcement Magazine's Top R and B Hit Bounce collections and number 14 on the Announcement 200 it produced hit singles. For example, got a ton of affection I Ain't New Tea This and 99 issues The Last Option Rousing Jay-Z to keep a rendition with new verses in 2003, notwithstanding his performance and band projects. Ice teamed up with H different hard rock and metal groups, including Ice Pick, Motohead, Slayer, and Uber. Passing propane and six feet under, he additionally pock honored no nonsense troublemaker groups like the took advantage of Jello Bafra and Dark Banner through cover melodies. Ice T's different melodic undertakings highlight his adaptability and readiness to push creative limits beyond music. Ice T has additionally made huge commitments to the hip jump local area, filling in as an adjudicator for the free music grants and coordinating the 2012 narrative, Something from Nothing. The craft of rap, which commends the validity and variety of rap culture lately, Ice-T has kept on remaining applicable in the hip jump scene, delivering solo tracks like Federal Authorities in My Back View in 2019, the main portion of a set of three. He likewise worked together with individual craftsmen in the 2020 hip jump cut. The Slayers Club, reaffirming his perseverance through impact and pertinence in the music business Ice-T's impact rises above the limits of music as he has wandered into different business projects that feature his different gifts. As a writer, he has written a few convincing books, offering peruses a brief look into his striking process. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.